Hey everybody, Ben Stein here. Today I want to talk about ageism. If you are young, turn this video off. But if you are a more senior candidate, you know that ageism exists and it's rampant. So what can we do about it? First, we want to list out what are those objections that you think that you're going to face coming up against ageism and write down responses to them. So maybe you're going to be too much money, not going to be able to learn new technology, not going to be able to fit in with the culture. Write your responses to those objections and use real world examples uh, in a story format to preemptively uh, engage with those objections. Now objections are often cover-ups for the real emotional reason behind it. Uh, and Chris Voss talks about that in Never Split the Difference. So you get to also ask yourself, what could those undercover motives be under those objections? So maybe it's uh, intimidating uh, managing someone that is uh, older than you. Uh, maybe it is uh, you know, thinking that you wouldn't be able to uh, relate to them. So we get to ask ourselves, what are those emotional triggers uh, in addition to those stated objections, how to overcome those stories. So two is with LinkedIn and resume, you want to put your most ambiguous foot forward as far as someone being able to date you. If they want to date you, they will, but you don't want them to automatically disqualify you. So if you are listing your first few positions or you have the year that you graduated school on your LinkedIn or resume, those things could stop conversations before they could get started. And oftentimes if a job description says, you know, uh, five to 10 years experience, you're more than qualified for it, but you may be disqualified for it for too much experience. So that's, a, that's another way to uh, help you get past the gauntlet. So I'm curious, what do you guys think about these tips and uh, what have you done to help overcome ageism in your interviewing process? Let me know in the comments below.